you are at A4, E6, uh, and this one's created by Jigabov. That's me! Yay! Now, people that have seen my BioQuest Friday series uh, will already recognize this place. Um, but anyway, no, my house sunk in the lake. Oh, if you can find a lever and activate the magic blue stone, it will lift it out. Uh, if you can get it up, get my gravel out of the house and put... Wait, is there a spelling mistake over here? Oh, no capitalization on the maybe. What is that all about? Um, put it under my hand for me. I think it'll be slow to raise. And only one L on the it, it'll. Um, wow, who made this encounter? Jeez, spelling mistakes, grammar, jeez. Um, I think there's a chest with diamonds in that tree. Okay, I'll take your word for it. In here is a chest with a lever. Place the lever on the magic blue stone. You see the house starting to move up. Uh, this takes a really long time. That's why I added the extra extra challenge of getting to that chest over there. Um, it's not that hard. Actually, it's a lot easier now that you can climb the vines, but whatever, that's fine. Um, I think I made it at some point. You had to jump up on top of there. But I must have changed it because that's impossible now. So I guess you do have to climb up the vines. Uh, and you just jump over here. Now, you don't have to jump across this roof here. You can just jump straight across the leaves. In fact, that was intended before uh, invisible blocks got taken out. Man, that was a bad day when that happened. No. Nope. Chuck Tester, that's disappointing. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much the end of this encounter. Then you just have to kind of faff about waiting for the house to move itself up. It's really slow. Uh, I'm sorry, I should have made it faster or optimized it or something. Um, but yeah, you pretty much wait here until the house moves up and then you go into the house. So I guess we'll wait here together while the house goes up, one step at a time. Excellent! Now that my house has uh, risen, I can go in here, can get the magic gravel. You can hear the pistons still working away. They will stop. Um, once they've filled up the thing, the circuit will actually break itself. And we're going to give the dude his gravel back. And then we're going to leave. And that's this encounter. Pretty easy. On to the next one. Wait. This looks familiar. This encounter actually has two endings. Now is the chance to see the other one. What? Um, now, I'm not going to make a separate video for this. There is already a video on this. But what I am going to do is skip to the end and show you how to get the other ending. Uh. One thing actually that you'll notice is this is much easier uh, once you've been through the multiplex once. Because now you have all the equipment to uh, get through much easier. It's kind of like you've grown as a character. Ow. Damn it. The point at which the uh, story splits and the alternate ending is right here. I should get a potion. I'm going to die and embarrass myself. There it is. Awesome. Now we can go in here. The key to getting the other ending is to go in and then fail. So, not... I mean, you can kill Percy still, that's fine. Take this, Percy! He's a douchebag anyway. Look! Here's, we've got the uh, Excubiver. But for some reason, I'm not going to punch this up. But actually, I want to point out something that's really cool. Um, though I had to slightly remove... What happens is, when this torch turns on, that block updates and more lava falls down and you can see it falling down around there. I think that's awesome and I think adventure maps should use that. Um, when this torch lights up you'll see lava start falling down here too. This is because that block is updating 
and because the block is updating, uh, the lava is falling, and I don't know, it, it, I guess it, it makes it feel more epic, the fact that the lava, I just did exactly the same thing as I did in the last one. <sighs> this is fixed, by the way, if you do play this map. Um, uh, if you download the most recent update, this won't happen. <laughs> eh. Anyway, this torch is gonna light up. You're gonna hear some music, and we've failed. Evil, horrible music. Right, take care of those guys. Uh, and you can see the portal. <sighs> oh, good, I still have that. The portal is lit up, so. Cthulhu is going to come out and get us, and also those signs over there, they changed. We're just going to swim over there. Cthulhu, in spite of your brave efforts, you have failed, puny mortal. Now watch as your world becomes rightfully mine. <laughs> um, and then some more stuff. So, that's the other ending, uh, and that's the end of this track. You can actually skip right through this if you don't want to go through it again. Uh, people complained about that, so I did make it so you could just skip right through if you don't want to do it again. Um, but I think it is good enough to play twice, especially if you want to get the different endings. So, yep, that's the end of that one. Uh, now on to B4, those ones right down there. <laughs>